What did you guys think of Anatomy Lab? I love Anatomy Lab. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, a neurosurgeon. Catch me out here. I know exactly what the basal ganglia does. There's an indirect and direct pathway. And there's different parts of it and stuff. Bye. That was the worst hour of my life. <laughs> <laughs>
for the camera guys and like the tech wizards, you can stick around because you'll enjoy this talk. But I promise I won't be talking for it too long. Just let me nerd out, okay? So this is what I've been using for the past year. No, it's been like two, two, three years. Before this, it was a Canon Rebel T1i. And you don't even have to know what that is. Just know that it came out in 2001. That is what I learned how to do photography and videography on. Upgraded to this. This is kind of a base level. Let's see if it'll focus. It's a base level uh, Canon mirrorless. It's the EOS M50. And with a Sigma zoom lens on it, this is what I use for all my vlogs. And this is the camera I built my channel on. So it's hard. It's hard for me to let this go. But... I think it's just, it's so cool to be able to have the opportunity to actually invest into professional gear. And I think that's been a long time coming because I've been doing this for a little bit. Um, I just finally have the means to be able to pull the trigger. My vlog lens is on back order on literally every single site. So it'll probably be a little bit until that lens gets here, but until then I'm okay. I love the 35 millimeter focal length. I'm a big fan. So I'll be using that for a bit. I just probably won't be vlogging on this camera. And I'm vlogging or filming this in log. Not really sure why, because that's going to make my editing process a lot harder. But I want to experiment with it, so here we go. But this week has been really, really awesome. You guys got to see a lot of the histo stuff. We did uh, labs. It's all off the week, so we're working with eyes. Just weird and gross, but kind of cool. I don't know, I'm not going in off, though. I know that, but shout out Dr. Glock and Flecken. Today we had a, another trauma sim, which was really fun. And I'll probably post a couple videos about that on my TikTok, so go follow it over there. Uh, and then went into a fast exam um, assessment. So it's basically an ultrasound, uh, an ultrasound bedside exam that we can quickly analyze for any traumas, uh, any internal hemorrhages that can happen in the most common points, like Morris's pouch, um, in the bladder, any bleeding like that we have to learn how to do it super super quick because in those situations time is of the essence so got that out of the way i was able to find all the structures i needed in five minutes which is awesome um that means i'm decently prepared but yeah welcome to another week in the life of a med student and for real thank you guys so so much uh for giving me the means to do cool stuff like this it's so cool like, I'm genuinely so excited for where this goes and just to be able to play with some cool new tech. So, I'm excited. And hopefully the vlogs and the videos are looking a little bit... It is absolutely, without a doubt, way too hot outside to be dressed like this anyways let's go uh go to our sim and apparently we get to play with some of uh, virtual reality stuff today which would be kind of cool you'll get to see it in probably three two one <laughs> Visual impairment. 
hybrid simulation using uh, VR technology. Um, there, there's a couple of different impairments on here. This has been a couple other students' work over a few semesters, but uh, I was one of the most recent contributors here. So right now on the screen, you can see what's in the goggles, but in 2D. Uh, this splotch right here is uh, macular degeneration. And what makes this so advanced is that it has eye tracking. So if you see on the screen right now, the blob is following my eyes. So if I try to look left, it follows it. So you can't really cheat with peripheral vision here. And so you get to experience day to day what some of these patients are dealing with. And so there, there's a lot of different impairments here so far. And this is still very much work in progress. So there's gonna be uh, others added soon, but right now we've got uh, macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, uh, cataracts, colorblindness, nearsightedness, and farsightedness. So that's just a few of what I have so far. But that's uh, awesome. there's definitely lots of potential for more. That's awesome, thank you. That post quiz, Einstein. Yeah, we what? out here for real. Hey, what, what's, what's your uh, what's your rating of Opto Week? Like a three out of ten. I wouldn't say because it's like hard. It's just a lot of information that might not be necessary for me if I don't want to like be an ophthalmologist for my life. So I say three out of ten. Kind of boring. I'm glad it's done. Ready to get a nap in. Agreed. Mm -hmm.